I always loved Typhlosion as a kid, picking it for my Pokemon Silver team every single time. However, the competitive scene has not been kind to it. Sure, you can slap on a Choice Scarf and spam Eruption, but we're not going to be doing that today. That's right, everyone. I'm about to unveil the secret source to making Typhlosion a powerhouse. With the amazing coverage it gets on the physical move pool, I couldn't resist slapping a Choice Band on it and destroying those special walls like Blissey and Clod's Eye. Today's first battle is against Fornabil from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, and it's an amazing game. Also, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus battle against the GOAT Hayden with this team. So without further ado, I present to you all the Physical Typhlosion video. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Fornabil. So they're going to lead off with Plug, the Ampharos, as I led off with my Raikou. So Raikou's not a bad lead here. It's not the best lead in the world. Um, but it's not a bad lead, so let's go for a Volt Switch right off the bat. So we go for a Volt Switch. It should do a nice bit of chip damage. Yeah, a little bit of chip damage. Nothing too crazy. And uh, now we just switch out into something else. So I'm leaning towards Goldengo. I'm also leaning towards the Earthquake on Typhlosion. But I'm looking at the team and I don't see a Hazard Clearer. So I kind of want to go Glimora here. I think Glimora is a good one. We can get the Stealth Rocks up and all that stuff. So we'll go Glimora like so. Meteor Beam comes through. Oh, it's a Meteor Beam set with Power Herb. Potentially. We get the special attack boost. Are we going to see Power Herb? We do see Power Herb. Interesting. So that's a cool cool little set. Um, so that's going to definitely take us down to a Sash, right? No, it doesn't. It still doesn't take us down to a Sash. So we definitely go for a Stealth Rock here. That's always important. So Stealth Rock comes through. They more than likely go for uh, something like a Thunderbolt or something along those lines. They go for an Agility. Ooh. That Ampharos just became really fast all of a sudden. So now, now what do we do? Um, I'm going to go for a Sludge Wave. They go for the Thunderbolt that's going to outspeed us and take us out because of the agility. I was hoping because Ampharos is so slow naturally that it wouldn't, you know, outspeed us even after agility. So that's a shame that they managed to pull that off. Uh, what can we do here? I'm leaning towards the Goldengo, the Shadow Ball. I'm leaning towards the Meow Stick for the Sidekick because we are Choice Scarf. We definitely outspeed. Um... If we can lock him into Thunderbolt, we can 1v1 them with Raikou. So I think we're going to have to give Meowstic, lock him into Thunderbolt, and then go for like that from there. So we're going to Rosie the Meowstic. And we'll trick them. We'll just simply trick them. Yeah, we definitely outspeed. So we go for a trick. Give them a Choice Scarf. Hopefully they're locked into Thunderbolt. Hopefully. They are locked into Meteor Beam. Okay, that's cool. So they're locked into Meteor Beam, which means we can bring in... Um, Typhlosion, for example, an Earthquake in the face. So uh, I'm going to go for a Psychic right now, just in case we outspeed. But we don't outspeed, obviously. So Meteor Beam comes through. That's going to take us out, which is fine. So now that they're locked into Meteor Beam, they kind if we bring in Typhlosion here, they kind of have to switch out into one of their dragons. And I'm hoping to see Hydreigon. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to go for a Focus Punch here. We go for a Focus Punch. They're going to Terra. This works out. This works out just fine. Because if they, if they Terra Rock here, which they have, not. They're going to Terra Dragon. They're going to Terra Dragon to resist the fire, which makes sense. But uh, we're going to tense our Focus up real quick. And then we're going to smack this thing in the face with a Focus Punch. Because they can't go for Meteor Beam. Because it's Charge Move. So they have to charge it. So they're overflowing with Space Power. We get the Special Attack Boost. But this Focus Punch is going to KO you. Oh, the Static. The Static. That's unfortunate. But, I mean, it's whatever at the end of the day. So Typhlosion does take out the Ampharos with a Focus Punch, which is fantastic. I'm glad we managed to get that gameplay in. That's amazing. Abductrapil comes in. That's the uh, Dragapult. It's going to get hit by the Stealth Rocks. We can still use Typhlosion because it can still take a couple of hits from here and there. So I'm going to switch out and I'm assuming they won't go for a flamethrower. They go for a Draco here or a U-turn. So I'm going to go for a Corviknight switch. I think Corviknight's a fine switch. Like I said, I think I think we can definitely play around with this thing. So um, Noctis comes in like so. They go for a Dragon Dart. So that's great. So that's going to bounce right off us. And then we just go for a U-turn predicting the, the, the Erotom to come in. So uh, let's go for the U-turn now. They do withdraw the Dragapult because they realize they can't touch. And they might be banded. They might be banded. And they're going to go into Mitchell. Or Michael. The Rotom Frost, which is great because that gives us a free switch into Typhlosion. Well, I say a free switch. 
it gives us a free flare blitz. So we go for a U-turn. So even though Typhlosion is paralyzed, it's still going to put in the work here. Because going into Typhlosion now, Krakatoa. Nice and shiny, got to love it. We simply go for a flare blitz here. They may predict the focus, the focus uh, punch, and they might go for a switch. So I'm going to go for the flare blitz anyway. They go for a double team. Interesting. So double team Roton Frost is very interesting, but I have a feeling we're going to hit this still. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Down goes the Roton Frost to Typhlosion and its physical prowess. That's great. That's just great. In comes the Dragapult once again. This time, it's probably going to go for a U-turn, expecting the switch into Corviknight, which is absolutely fine if they do. So Corviknight can still come in, though, every single day of the week here. So we withdraw. Because we can still use um, Typhlosion for the Brute Bonnet. So I want to do that. So let's go into Corviknight real quick. They go for a Dragon Dart. Again, it's not going to do much damage to us. Um, they're probably going to expect us to go for a Roost this turn and get a free switch in with their Hydreigon. But I'm going to go for a U-turn anyway. They go for another Dragon Dart, which is interesting. So now, now that we've gone for another Dragon Dart, um, this U-turn is obviously going to bounce right off them. And I, I want to say they're banded. Otherwise, they switch up moves there. So I'm going to go into Goldengo. I think Goldengo is a fine Pokemon to go into here. We can go for a Make It Rain and hurt something. So we're floating the air of the air balloon, which is great. We now go for a Make It Rain. They withdraw the Dragapult. They are locked into Dragon Darts. There's a choice banded set. And they're going to into Gorlet. And that's going to be the Hydreigon, right? No, it's a Brute Bonnet. Never mind. Nice and shiny. We gets the Stealth Rock chip. We go for a Make It Rain. And that just nearly KOs it, which is fantastic. So with Brute Bonnet nearly gone, we could go for another Make It Rain here, or we could switch out. I'm going to go into Corviknight, and I'm going to try and get a Roost off, because we're going to need Corviknight for that Dragapult, that's for sure. So Corviknight can come in now, like so. There we go. They go for a Trailblaze, which is going to hurt them a little bit. It's definitely going to hurt them, because of the Rocky Helmet. And then we simply go for a Roost here and Roost off the damage. They go for a close combat. That's going to sting. Doesn't KO us, though. Doesn't KO us because we are a Corviknight. We are very bulky. And Rocky Helmet's going to take them out. So Brute Bonnet goes, which is great. So with Brute Bonnet out of the way, we've got Hydreigon, Mousehold, and we've got a Dragapult. And then we just roost off the damage real quick. Six Wings comes in. That's the Hydreigon. Gotta be. Yeah, there it is. Um, it's a terrifying Pokemon, that's for sure. Um, do I have a switch in? I'm going to go Raikou. Because I'm pretty confident Raikou can take a Fire Blast. Or a Dark Pulse. No problem. So let's go into Thundercats. Because they're on the loose. They go for a Focus Energy. That's an interesting set. It's going to turn Super Saiyan on us. So knowing the Focus Energy, we know we outspeed. So let's go for a Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere comes through. Not enough power. Maybe I should have Terra Blast iced it. But they go for a Crunch. Which is going to get a critical hit on us. But now I'm leaning towards them going into Dragapult on the Aura Sphere. So knowing that, I kind of want to go for a Volt Switch. I think I'll go for a Volt Switch. Oh, they, did, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. So Volt Switch KOs the Hydreigon, which is fantastic. Hydreigon is down. Now we simply go into our Corviknight, because Corviknight faces off really well against the Dragapult and the Mousehold. And that's all we need to do. Unless, unless, let's go into Typhlosion first. Let's go into Typhlosion just in case we get a mouse hold. I, I want to see if we can get a Flare Blitz off. I just want one more KO with Typhlosion. That's all I want. Tabaret comes in. That's the mouse hold. Nice. They probably try and go for a Tidy up here. Or they just Population Bomb us straight up. So I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz. They go for a Tidy up. Yes. They get rid of them Stealth Rocks, which is unfortunate. And as long as we don't get fully paralyzed, we get the KO here. So they get that attack and speed boost, which is fine. But we go for a Flare Blitz and we cleanly take them out, right? Yes. <laughs> Free KOs with Typhlosion. And we pulled off the Focus Punch against the Ambrose. You gotta love it. In comes the Dragapult. So this thing might not be banded. It could be Dragon Dance still. We don't know for sure it's banded. So I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz just in case. But they do go for a Dragon Dance just straight up to KO us. And uh, that does take KO us in two hits, which is fine. Because um, we do have options for this. We do have options. Um, what I can do here is I can go into my Goldengo if I want to. 
which I am going to do. And I'm going to go into Gold Rush and I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. There's no reason not to go for a Shadow Ball. So that is going to be GG, I think. Unless they can switch up moves. No, they can't. So they are they are banded in the end. They are banded in the end. So Dragon Dance comes through. Not going to take us out, obviously. As uh, we go for a Shadow Ball. And that is cleanly going to destroy that Dragon Ball's life. And that is going to be the game. So GG Fornabil. That was a really fun one. I'm sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. I'm really good at pronouncing names. But GG anyway. What a great game. Even through paralysis, Typhlosion still came through. And that Ampharos had no idea what hit it. Moving on to our second game, we're against Dr. Banana Man from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, and it's a good one. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Dr. Banana Man. They lead off with Lycanroc, as I led off with my Glimora. So I, I went Glimora because I was like, yeah, I want to get the Stealth Rocks up because there only has a clear is Delibird, and I'm pretty sure we can deal with that with a Goldengo, so it's no problem. Uh, so I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock right off the bat. They may go for a Taunt. They do go for a Taunt. Um, but it's fine. I, the attempt was made. The attempt was made. So we go for a Stealth Rock and it fails because of the taunt. Now we switch out 100% and we go into our Corviknight because they may want to go for a Defog, uh, Stealth Rock of their own. They're actually going to withdraw expecting maybe an Earth Power or an Energy Ball, which is fair enough. And they're going to go into Indeedy, which is also very fair enough. So Indeedy comes in, it gets the Psychic Surge up, which is fine. And then we go into our Corviknights. And this pretty much forces a switch. So we have to go for a U-turn against this thing. So Noctis comes in. And these things are typically run Scarfed or Specs. Um, usually in the Psychic Terrain so they can take advantage of the Expanding Force. So let's go for a U-turn. They may go ahead and attack. They actually trick us. So they are a Choice variant. And um, what are they going to trick us with? They're going to trick us with a Choice Scarf as they get a Rocky Helmet. Which means we're going to get some Rocky Helmet chip from this U-turn. So we go for a U-turn. Does over half still, which is fantastic. And then obviously we get hit by the Rocky Helmet. So that's fine. That's fine. Let's see how we do here. So I'm going to go into... Since they're not Scarfed anymore, we can go into Typhlosion. I am leaning towards Typhlosion. I really am. It baits in the Dragonite, though. So maybe I'm better going for something else. I I'm leaning towards the Goldengo personally. I think I will go Goldengo and just go for a Make It Rain because there's nothing on the team that wants to take a Make It Rain except from the Quad Dyer. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. So let's go for a Make It Rain right now. No reason not to. They go for an Expanding Force to break our Air Bloom, which is fine. It does mean, however, they lose their Indeedee. And I'm a bulky Goldengo and that still did a lot of damage. Um, so Make It Rain comes through. Down goes the Indeedee, which is fantastic. They didn't really have a switch into Goldengo there. Other than the Clod, but even then the Clod... We could have tricked them or anything. Dragonite comes in, which is cool. Cool? Cool. Dragonite is cool. So their extreme speed will be blocked by the psychic terrain, I believe. Or it might not because they're flying. I could be wrong. Let's go for a thunder wave. They go for a fire punch. That's going to sting. Actually KOs us. So are they banded maybe? Or does that just KO? I'm going to go into Glimora. And the reason being is because I want to get the stealth rocks up for a start. And I think they're locked in. I feel like it's banded Dragon Eyes. So I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock right now. They do withdraw, showing they might be banded. Otherwise, they could have gone for an Earthquake there. And they're going to go into the Clod's Eye, which is absolutely fine by me. I'm not bothered about Clod's Eye. Uh, stealth Rock comes through. Like so. And now we have a way of damaging that Dragon Eye if it is banded. Uh, on the switch and breaking the uh, potential multi-scale uh, multi that it has. So... What do we do against this thing? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch out. I know. I'm leaning toward Typhlosion because they're going to go for a Stealth Rock, right? So we go for Typhlosion. We go for Typhlosion 100% of the time here because they're going to go for Stealth Rock or Spikes or something along those lines. So we'll go Typhlosion. They do go for Stealth Rock, which is great. So they're probably wondering, oh, okay, what's this Typhlosion going to do? Is it going to go for Scorching Sands uh, or something along those lines? Um, either way, they probably think they can take a hit. So I'm going to go for an Earthquake. And they do stay in, which is great. See if we can KO this thing. We do KO it because we're adamant. Clod's Eye goes down to a Typhlosion. Physical Typhlosion coming through for us right now. They now go into Lycanroc, which is a good play. It's a good play, to say the least. It's going to be probably Endeavor set. Um, the, the Sash is broken. I'm going to Terra. No, I'm not going to Terra yet. It's not time to Terra yet. I could Terra and be resistant to the Rock type move. But if they go for a close combat or a drill run, we're kind of boned. Um, so I'm going to go into Corviknight instead. I think Corviknight is a suitable switch. So, what we want to do is, we want to bait in the Delibird. 
No, we don't want to bait in the deli bird at all. What do we want to do? I don't know. Black Rock's going to tear her anyway. What type is it going to tear her into? The rock type for extra power? Yeah, rock for extra power. So rock comes through uh, on the Lycan rock, which is fine. We go ahead and take the Accelerator like a champ, right? Tough Claws boosted by Terror as well. Yeah, we take it like a champ. That's fine. Um, so we now go for a U-turn to get on out of there. They withdraw the Lycan Rock, which is to be expected. Are they going to go Dragonite? Deli Bird. So Deli Bird's a fine one. Deli Bird is a fine switch. It's going to get hurt by the Stealth Rocks. They're not boots, which is interesting. We go for a U-turn. That's going to do a decent bit of chip damage to the Deli Bird, which is fine. Um, what set could this Deli Bird be? I'm, all I can think in my head is present. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, let's go for Glimora. And we'll mortal spin away these stealth rocks. I think that's the way to go forward here. So let's 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 do that. Um, point of stones do dig in. We break our sash. But I think if we go for a mortal spin here, we'll be fine. So I'm going to do that. Mortal spin comes through. Takes him right down. Gives him the poison. Okay, so the poisoned. They put stones disappear and they go for a destiny bond. Oh, wasn't expecting that. That's interesting. So unfortunately, though, the Destiny Bond isn't going to work because of the poison. So uh, down goes the Deli Bird with no Destiny Bond working, unfortunately for them. Dragonite comes in. Dragonite is a good switch. So I'm guessing they are Terra... Uh, they're not Terra. I'm guessing they're Choice Banded because they, they wouldn't have switched that earlier if they weren't. Uh, let's go for a Power Gem. We should outspeed them. We do outspeed them. Glimora comes through and takes out the Dragonite with one shot, which is great. So Dragonite goes down. Now we just have Primate and Lycanroc to deal with. Lycan Rock comes in. That's fine. Lycan Rock is fine. Get some Stealth Rock shit, which is great for them. I'm going to go for a Sludge Wave. I'm not really bothered about the uh, Glimora anymore. They go for an Acelerock, Rock, which shouldn't take us out. It doesn't take us out. Activates the Toxic Spike, so that Primeape is now going to be poisoned. And uh, we go for a Sludge Wave, which should do a lot of damage to the Lycan Rock. It's not resisted, I don't think. Oh, it is resisted. I thought it was just Ground that resisted it, but I guess Rock resists it as well. Um, so let's just go for another one. I don't know why I'm not going for a power gem, because power gem's neutral. It literally tells you the bottom right corner of the screen whether it's effective or not very effective. I don't know why I didn't look at that. Either way, we go down um, to a cellar rock, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into Typhlosion. I'm going to go into Typhlosion. I'm going to finish the game with Typhlosion. I think, I think Typhlosion can finish the game. So we'll bring it in like so. And we'll go for the Terra Fighting. And then we'll go for a Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz should take him out. And then Flare Blitz will be able to take out the Primate, which would be amazing. So we'll Terra Fighting to be resistant to the Rock. Like so. Boom. Looking amazing. Looking amazing. There we go. And then they go for a Protect to scout, see what we're going to do, which is fair enough. But unfortunately for them, we went for the Flare Blitz, which will KO the Lycan Rock from where it's at. So, you know... That's that's a thing. So Lycan Rock protects itself. We go for a Flare Blitz once again. They go for an Acela Rock. Obviously, it's going to not do much damage to us. Um, with it being resisted and all that. And we go for a Flare Blitz. We should take them out from here. It does. So Lycan Rock goes down. And now we just need to take out the Primate. Now Primates normally are especially defensive with Bulk Up with Eviolite. So Primate comes in, which is cool. Looking amazing. Pointed stones do dig in. And they do get poisoned, which is great. So with the with badly poisoned at that. So we know this primate's on a timer. So let's go for a fire punch once again. Uh, flare blitz, sorry. Once again. Oh, that's some damage right there to an Evilite primate. That's damage, that is. As uh, they go for a close combat, which is going to take us out, unfortunately. So it does lower their defenses, which is great and all. But uh, Typhlosion didn't get to finish the game. But you know what? It, it punched some holes in the team. Took out that Clod's Eye, which is amazing. <laughs> Took out the Lycan Rock with a resisted hit, and it did a severe amount of damage to the Primate. So you know what? Successful Typhlosion video, I reckon. So let's go into Raikou to finish this thing off. It's out of speeds and everything. So we'll bring Thundercat in, like so. And we'll go for a Thunderbolt real quick. Thunderbolt comes through. Down goes the Primate, which is fantastic. And that is going to be the game. So GG's Dr. Banana, man. That was a fun one. A really fun one. I enjoyed that one. GG.
great end to a great battle. Typhlosion came through until Prime maybe hit the field, of course. Anyway, as I said at the start, we have a bonus battle against the one and only Hayden, and it's a brilliant game. Typhlosion doesn't pop off, but it's still a great game I wanted to showcase to you all. Enjoy. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Hayden. So he's going to lead off with Shellfire, the Torkoal, which is a cool name. And we lead off with Raikou. So not a bad lead for us. We can definitely go for a Volt Switch here because they have no ground types. Uh, or we can go for a Thunderbolt. Either way, it's, it's fine. I don't know what set this Torkoal is going to be, though, because this is Hayden. And he brings random weird sets that always work. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Let's just go for a Volt Switch. Seems like the best thing to do. We go for a Volt Switch. Bit of chip damage on the Torkoal. Not, nothing to scoff at. Uh, and now we'll switch out into something more suited to taking on a uh, Torkoal. So we'll go into... I don't want to go into Typhlosion. I don't want to reveal the Typhlosion tech yet. So I'm going to go into Glimora instead. Glimora seems like a more worthy thing. If we can get the Stealth Rocks up and take out the Torkoal, that'd be amazing. Because um, they'd have a lot to switch in on a... Uh, a uh, whatever you call this. So anyway. Anyway. They go for the Stealth Rocks. We can obviously Mortal Spin this away. Which is no problem. So let's go ahead and go for a Mortal Spin right now. Mortal Spin comes through. Gets a little bit of poison on the Torkoal, and also gets rid of those Stealth Rocks, which is fantastic. Um, so anyway, the stones disappear from around the team. They go for a Lava Plume, and that does a nice little bit of chip damage to us, but nothing too drastic, as we can just go for a Power Gem now and take this thing out. Um, I, I don't see any reason not to looking at their team, so let's go for a Power Gem. They withdraw Torkoal, not wanting it to go down, which is fair enough. They need the Sun for the Levani, I think, and the Sliver Wing. So they're going to go into Lil Jelly. Which is the Ditto, of course. And they're probably going to want to try and counter our um, Stealth Rocks by going for their own Mortal Spin or going for whatever. We go for a Power Gem, though. I wasn't about to mess around with that Torkoal. And I'm not about to mess around with the Ditto. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. I'm leaning toward the... They're going to be disappointed because we don't have Earth Power. <laughs> Whereas Power Gem two-shots them, it won't two-shot us because Ditto doesn't copy the HP stat. But it might, it might two-shot us. Because we don't actually have a high HP stat right now anyway. Yeah, it two shots us. So, Power Gem comes through. We take care of the data, no problem. Glimora versus Glimora, and Glimora wins. But who's Glimora? That's the real question, mine. So, in comes Katana, which is going to be the Samurott. No, oh, never mind, it's not. I thought it would be the Samur <laughs> Samurott, but never mind, never mind. Um, all right, this Levani is going to go for a Fell Stinger here. I know it. I just know it. I'm not letting you get that st Fell Stinger strap on me. There's no way, Jose. No way. I've been swept by Felstinger Levani before on stream. I ain't about to let it happen again. So we're going to Corviknight. Uh, and they do, in fact, Terrastalize. Oh, no. Are they going to terrify a Terra Blast predicting the Corviknight to come in? I bet they are, aren't they? Terra Bug. Oh, no. They're going all in on the Felstinger. If it's not Felstinger, I'm going to be disappointed, Hayden. I'm going to be disappointed if it's not. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Sweet. So we made the right play. We go for, they go for the Fell Stinger. It bounces right off Corviknight, obviously. Uh, I wasn't about to let Glimora go down to no Fell Stinger. So now, if we assume... Mm, let's go for a U-turn. I don't see any reason not to. What are they going to do to us? They can't Terra Fire. They withdraw the Levani. They know they can't touch good old Corviknight. And they're probably going to go Torkoal if I had to guess. Nor Water. Nor Water. Oh, the Samurott. Oh, nice. We go for a U-turn. Obviously, it's going to do a little bit of chip damage to the Samurott. A bit more chip damage than I thought it would. And now we can go into something a bit more appropriate to take on Samurai. And I'm leaning towards the Raikou. I really am. So I'm going to go in for the Raikou. There we go. Thundercat comes in. Looking amazing. And now we just simply go for a Volt Switch. I don't see any reason not to. They withdraw the Samurai. They don't want to lose it just yet, which is fair enough. Um, and the uh, Katana is going to come back in the Livani, which is great. He's lost his Grass Typing, so it's not going to resist this. We go for the Volt Switch. And we get rid of the... Um, the threat that is Levani, because I think the sun fades out this turn, right? I think. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go Typhlosion. Now, the reason I want to go Typhlosion is because it baits in something else. So I'm going to go for Typhlosion. I'm going to go for Typhlosion. Now, there's no reason for me not to go for a Flare Blitz here, other than the Torkoal. So I kind of want to go for an Earthquake predicting the uh, Torkoal to come in, but... At the same time, I'm like, nah, let's, go. let's just go for a Flare Blitz. I don't see any reason not to, because if they withdraw, which they have done, whatever they go into is going to get hit by a Sun Booster Choice Band Flare Blitz. As we go for said Flare Blitz on the Samurott that switches in, and it still KOs the Samurott, which is fantastic. So, Samurott goes down, and we're looking pretty good right now. I think the best thing they can bring in here is Torkoal. 
as a harsh light fades, then it's the perfect time to bring Torkoal in. In comes the Shellfire. Shellfire is a good switch. And Drought's going to come into effect, obviously. We could sit here and go for another Flare Blitz in the sun. But I'm more inclined to go in something else. So I'm, I'm leaning towards maybe... I don't know. I think I'm going to sack off Glimora here to the Torkoal. Saves it getting sacked off against the Levani with Foul Stinger. Because I'm not letting that happen, by the way. So we'll go into Glimora right now. They probably want to go for a Stealth Rocks here. They go for the Stealth Rocks, which is fine. Not playing around with no, no Stealth Rocks, though. So I'm going to go for a Mortal Spin here. I would like to get my own Rocks up, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen as uh, we have to go for a Mortal Spin here to get rid of these Stealth Rocks. Mortal Spin comes through. Get rid of those Stealth Rocks. They have to go for a, a move here, right? Lava Plume, yeah. They can't win that Stealth Rock War. They can't win it. So Shimmer goes down. We did get rid of the Stealth Rocks. Now we can freely go into whatever we want. And we're stalling Sun Turns here as well, which is the great thing. So uh, now I'm leaning towards the Meowstic. Uh, Meowstic could be cool. Meowstic could finish off the whole team. I'm going to bring Rosie in the Meowstic. There we go. And I'm just going to hit Psychic. I don't really see any reason not to. Psychic comes through. We take care of the Torkoal just like that, which is fantastic. A Shellfire does go down, which is great. So I, I'm glad we didn't get swept by a Levani. That's for sure. In comes Sliverin. <laughs> that's what I call mine. <laughs> nice and shiny as well. <laughs> oh, wow. That's that's cool. That's, that's pretty cool. Name that is. Um, so we Terra Fairy here all the time and go for a Psychic, right? We Terra Fairy go for a Psychic. That way we can resist the first impression. And get some serious damage off on the Sliver Wing, which is going to be nice. So we Terra Fairy, like so, resisting both stabs from this thing, actually. We already resisted fighting, but, you know, it's nice to be held to still resist it. We go for a Psychic. They didn't go for a first impression. And that two shots the Sliver in. They go for a Flare Blitz in the sun. Nice. I forgot that thing even got Flare Blitz. For a bug fighting type to get Flare Blitz is wild to me. So weird. But at the same time, it's like, whatever. So anyway, Sliverwin is going to come in. Hmm. Uh, I'm leaning towards Typhlosion again. I am going to go Typhlosion again. I don't see any reason not to. We just go for a Flare Blitz and KO this thing, right? In the sun. <laughs> Play, give, give them the taste of their own medicine here. Let's go for a Flare Blitz. I don't see any reason not to. They withdraw Sliverwin. What are they going to go into? Jumpluff? Are they Focus Sashed? Katana. That's the, uh, the Livani right there, right? Yeah, Levani comes in. We go for a Flare Blitz. Takes it cleanly out, which is fantastic. Physical Typhlosion is coming through for us right now. Granted, in this particular game, Special Typhlosion would have done just as well. Although, the fact that we have our health weakened means Eruption won't have been as powerful. But um, it, it, this is not a good battle demonstrating the power of uh, Physical Typhlosion. But it'll make a great bonus battle against my buddy Hayden. Slivering comes in. Looking good, looking good. I like shiny sliver in. It's, it's, it's good. Sliver wing. Um, they're probably going to go for a first impression here, which would make sense. So I'm just going to go and let them bang the head against the wall and have bring Corviknight into Rocky Helmet in the face. And then we... Because here's the thing. If they bring Jumpluff in and they go for an Acrobatics, that'll take out Typhlosion if they, if they weaken us enough. So I don't want that to happen. So uh, Corviknight takes them out with a Rocky Helmet, which is fantastic. A sliver in goes down. Now we just have the jump off to worry about, and I'm hoping I can finish that off with Typhlosion and have this in the Typhlosion video, but I don't think this is a very great battle to showcase physical Typhlosion necessarily. It's just um, a great Typhlosion in general one. So let's go for a U-turn. They go for a Swords Dance. That's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. We go for a U-turn. I should have Brave Bird there. I mean, U-turn got a crit, but that Swords Dance jump off is a terrifying threat right now. Although I'm pretty sure my Corv and I can handle it, but... Uh, let's go to Goldengo. We'll just go with Goldengo and make it rain all over Hayden's face. That sounds really weird. Anyway. Anyway. We'll go for a make it rain. It should take out the jump bluff. I can't imagine they've got anything to actually heal us with unless they've got Weather Ball, but that's special. They go for a Seed Bomb. Unfortunately for them, Swords Dance isn't going to help you here as uh, we're able to go for a make it rain right now. And that should finish off the jump bluff. It does finish off the jump bluff. So GG Hayden, that was a fun one. I make a nice little bonus battle for the Typhlosion or the fu or a future video, so GG indeed, GG indeed. Everyone go check out Hayden's channel, by the way, if you haven't already. I'm sure you already have, though. 
That was legendary. So glad I didn't get swept by Felstinger Livani though. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, why not subscribe to help me out? And with that being said, I'll catch you in a bit.